Lawmakers unanimous, unanimously passing a bill reforming how policing is done in Iowa weeks after protests began in the state after the death of George Floyd. The bill passed by every single Iowa senator and representative tackles policing and the prosecution of police officers. So what are the specifics in House File 2647? Firstly, the bill pro uh, prohibits the use of chokeholds by police. It also allows the attorney general to investigate a death caused by a law enforcement officer rather than the county attorney. And among other things, the bill prevents an officer from being hired if previously fired for misconduct. Some lawmakers recognize this as simply one step in continuing the fight for reform. I'm here to acknowledge and inform you all that the work ahead of us is plentiful and it's tough. But I have so much hope. I'm hopeful because in this time in Iowa, we stepped up to make real change. We have committed here today to shouldering a burden to ensure that George Floyd or the scores before him doesn't take place in our state, not on our watch. As soon as the bill passed, cheers erupted from the gallery inside the Senate chamber. Among those cheers, the protesters have been showing up to the State House day after day in the hopes of speaking with Governor Kim Reynolds. While that hasn't happened yet, a portion of their goal has been achieved. It's kind of disappointing that we had to fill this State House for two days and we're going to have to keep filling it to get them to do their job. They said that they usually this takes years to do. We have to ask ourselves, why does it usually take years to put in common sense legislation that we can agree on in a bipartisan manner unanimously? We got to keep moving forward. It felt good. It felt it felt like we we made a difference today at the state house and I think that our presence really really was felt and I was proud to be a part of it. I think that this movement is growing uh, and we're showing people that we're listening and we're paying attention and we want them to take action. Otherwise, we're going to keep making life difficult for folks. Governor Reynolds was in both chambers this evening as they discussed that bill. She put out this statement tonight saying in part, quote, these problems didn't arise overnight and they won't be fixed in a day. We're just getting started, but our work together shows Iowa is willing to have the tough conversations. So what happens now? The bill heads to the governor's desk for her to sign it. If she signs it, it will then become law.